Wow. So we're ugly, dumb, and poor now. Okay. This is not the life I wanted for myself. <laughs> girls and guys who decided from style let's play and today we are playing the app game called bit live so basically this is a life simulator game you start off as a little tiny baby and you've got to grow up to see what kind of human being you are going to turn into you know so we have no idea what you know career we're gonna follow or whether we're gonna find true love or any of that good stuff so let's go ahead and get started i went ahead and just chose a random life to begin with so let's go ahead and read it together and figure out you know what my name is who my parents are all that good stuff so it says my name is Fernanda okay uh, Fernanda Mello and I was born in Brasilia Brazil okay so Brazil very nice you know and I was an accidental pregnancy so basically my parents didn't mean to have me but here I am surprise and so my father is Leonardo and he's a firefighter He's 26 and my mother is Risa and she is a travel agent. So I would say they're probably living quite a good life. Not crazy, you know, they're there, but they're, they're, they're happy. So my happiness is 71%. I am very healthy. I am not very smart and I am very ugly. Okay, wow, this is a, this is a good start to life, isn't it? But we're still zero years old. So, you know, we've got a lot of years ahead of us to try to change this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm dumb and ugly. Don't they usually say you get one or the other? Like, why couldn't I have at least been, like, smart? Then it would have been fine. <laughs> but I'm ugly and dumb. Wow. Thank you, life. Let's go ahead and age up and see if things get better or worse from here. So nothing happens when we're one, two, oh, wait, three. Age three. The Philippines' political slander campaign against Russia's leader has sparked heated hostility between the two governments. Okay, so it seems like in the world somewhere there's some drama going on, but hopefully it doesn't affect Brazil, you know? At age four, conditions have become unbearable as tension between the Philippines and Russia have escalated into war. <gasps> okay, hopefully this doesn't involve me. I'm just a little baby. <gasps> Hold on, at age five, Okay, we're testing out our integrity here. So you broke your parents' ceiling fan while you were playing. What are you gonna do? First of all, how did I break a ceiling fan? What was I doing? Oh my gosh, I am definitely not smart. So that I meant that I broke it or say it wasn't me. Now, if it was something small, I would have admitted to it, but it's a ceiling fan and I'm not trying to get in trouble. So, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and say it wasn't me. I'm going to just tell a little lie. <laughs> so, oh wait, casualties from the war measured in the hundreds. Oh, and I broke my parents' ceiling fan and then lied about it. <gasps> oh my gosh, I got it even uglier. <laughs> Why is life so cruel? My grandpa used to always say, if you're an ugly baby, you'll turn out to be beautiful when you're an adult, so don't feel bad. But here I am just getting uglier and uglier as time goes on. <laughs> Is there any activities I could do to try to become cute? Huh? Because that's what I need to do. We could go to the doctor, but we're not sick or anything, so we're just going to leave that for now. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and age up. Oh, we're starting primary school. How exciting. Uh, did we make any friends or anything? No. So at year nine an undersea oil rig explosion off the coast of new zealand spawns a disastrous tsunami that plummets inland 298 lose their lives and 3515 are injured wow so it seems like the rest of the world is still not doing very well new zealand we've got the philippines and russia this is not good so now we're 10 11 12 oh <gasps> social media oh my gosh i feel a little bit young to be on social media it says your friends are all joining social media will you join too <clears throat> so basically are we gonna go ahead and like <sighs> go with the peer pressure or should we hold up i mean 12 i feel like kids are like nine years old now on social media so 12 oh i still feel like that's a little young oh I think stay away from social media. Save yourself, okay? <laughs> so, oh no, it was actually 13. I think still 13 is a little young. Maybe, mm, okay, we didn't join it. Oh, well. <gasps> first kiss. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so you have an opportunity to have your first kiss with a boy named Victor Barbosa. Will you do this? Okay, 
Oh, okay. Mm, girl. All right. So are we like a fully, you know, going in for this kiss or should it just be like a little peck or run away from him? It'll help our looks though. You know, we are kind of really ugly. Our looks are at 13%. We need some help in the looks department if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and just give him a little peck. Just a little, you know, nothing crazy. <laughs> All grown up, you kiss Victor Barbosa. Yes, our looks are still 13%. I thought it was gonna help our looks out. This is why I kissed him. If not, I wouldn't have. Wow, oh my gosh, I'm getting even uglier. No, why is this happening to me? The older I get, the uglier I get. And I'm not even getting any smarter either. Is there any activities I could do? Okay, how about this? Uh, work on self-improvement. That could work, right? Okay, so, um, why don't we like, uh, I don't really see how meditation is gonna help us in the looks department. We could go to the movies. Okay, so it's a little drama. You know what, we're gonna hold off on this for now. And let's age up. School dance? Ooh, it's time to go to your first school dance. You are attracted to a boy named, is it Igor? Igor Rodriguez. Okay, Igor. <laughs> so ask Igor to go with you. Go by myself. School dances aren't for me. I guess, see, I would ask him, but then I feel like, um, uh, because we're kind of not that cute, he might say no. You know what? We're going to ask him. We're going to go for it. Let's be confident. <gasps> wow. Igor rejected you. You went to the school dance by yourself. Wow. Heartbroken already and I'm only 16. <laughs> You know what? We might have to turn to plastic surgery. Oh, we graduated from secondary or an oh wow, look at us graduating. Yes. Acne. You've been diagnosed with acne. Oh no. So now we're off to university and we need to pick a major. So chemistry, nursing, English. I think we should go with nursing sounds kind of fun. So why don't we try that out? How will you pay for your university program? So we could apply for some scholarships, but I'm dumb. So I'm probably not gonna get them. Uh, we could apply for student loan or ask parents. Let's try to ask our parents. Your parents refuse to pay your university tuitions. Wow, okay, thanks a lot parents. Let's try for scholarships. Got rejected from that as well. Okay, fine, I'll take out a student loan. <laughs> Wow, so we're ugly, dumb, and poor now. Okay, this is not the life I wanted for myself. <laughs> okay, is there anything I could do now? Any plastic surgery I could get? <sighs> so we're trying to get our driver's license now because you know, we're a lot older. It's time to take your driving test. Will you take it? We're not that smart, but let's try it. <laughs> what does this road sign mean? Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, a fire station? Yes, I passed the test. Woo -hoo -hoo. If only it was this easy to get your license in real life. So we're 19, <clears throat> we're 20 now, and we're graduating from university. So what are we gonna do? I think we should definitely look for a job. You know, it's the right thing to do, especially with all these student loans. So let's see, we are $8,000 in debt after school. Oh, student loans, they are the worst. So why don't we try, is there any uh, nursing jobs? We could work in the medical office, but we're not really a psychiatrist, are we? So why don't we work as a family physician? I mean, we could just lie, right? It's, it, <laughs> let's try to get one at a hospital. Um, so education, medical school. I, I did, I got denied. Okay, good. Wow, fine. Deny me, that's okay. Are there no nursing jobs available here? Like, hello, I just went to school for this. I want to try to get my job. Uh, There's like literally no jobs in my field. This is great. Junior pharmacist. I didn't go to pharmacy school, so I can't do that. Um, I, Dental hygienist. I mean, I did do that. I mean, I went, it's 49,000. You know, we're gonna apply for it. Oh, we got the job! 
but yes, we are working as a dental hygienist. Yes, look at me. So now we have the option to get some plastic surgery. And, you know, we aren't that cute. And even though I feel like, you know, in the real world, you know, we are all beautiful. I personally would never get plastic surgery. Well, since this is a game and I've got nothing going for me in life, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, you know, maybe do a little something, something. Um, why don't we go ahead and get a nose job? Just, just for the lulls, right? We're going to go with Bianca. It's $6,000 to get this surgery, which means uh, no, we're poor. We can't. Never mind. We got no money. Can't do that. Let's go ahead and just keep working our lives away. Maybe I should just become a criminal. Hmm. Starfish. Some of your friends are eating starfish. Why would I want to eat a starfish? No, thank you. That's not what I want to try to do with my life. Uh, what do we commit a crime? Can we rob a bank or something? Okay, I don't want to kill anyone. That's a little extreme. And oh, we got $22,000 in the bank. Okay, hold on. Time for my plastic surgery. I could afford it now. Okay. No strap time. Dr. Bianca, please do the job. Okay, feeling a little stiff right now. But we got our looks up to 23%. Yes. Okay, this is good. We've got $16,000 left. Why don't we play the lottery? We're going to buy 10 tickets. I didn't win. Great. Life just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Um, why don't we... Is there any other plastic surgery we can get? Let's get some Botox, you know? Because uh, we want to start young, I guess. <laughs> yes! My looks are up to 31% now. I'm going to be broke by the time I try to make myself beautiful. Now, we're going to get a tummy tuck. I, I don't know if we need one, but why not? Oh, oh. oh no. I had a botched tummy tuck. So basically, it got infected. And now I'm back to 0% on looks. No! I'm back to being 100% ugly again. Why? My nose job went perfect. My Botox, but not my tummy tuck. And now I've been diagnosed with migraines. Why? No, this is horrible. So I'm unhappy. I'm not healthy. I, and I'm starting to get a little smarter. But it's all right. Oh, wow. An outbreak of the plague has descended on Canada, killing 4,000 people in just three months. Whoa. Okay, we're going to try to go to the doctor and see if maybe they could help us with this, you know, whole situation going on. You know, uh, because my stomach isn't feeling right. Uh, you are currently suffering from migraines, so we're going to treat those. Okay. I received treatment, but it didn't work. So thanks for nothing, doctor. Don't appreciate it. Let's try some alternative medicine, okay? Why don't we try some homeopathic solutions? Okay, that obviously didn't work as well. People are just out here trying to scam me for some money. Should we try a witch doctor? She offered me tongue of a dog. Okay, no thank you. We are not trying to kill no dogs, okay? No, that's not okay. Why don't we try another doctor? So it's gonna cost $10. <gasps> she cured me! <laughs> Thank you, doctor. I really appreciate it. And now, can we go back to plastic surgery, please? Or have we not learned our lesson? So we're not going to go back to Bianca because she's over here trying to mess us up for the rest of our lives. Okay, so the tummy tuck was a success. Unfortunately, it only brought us up like 4%, so that's not very good. Okay, an acquaintance has offered you a $15,600 to take a duffel bag to Japan. Okay, if somebody says, here, take $15,000 on a plane to Japan, are you going to do it? No, because it's probably not money you want to be, you know, you don't want to touch that money. I don't think that's safe, okay? So, I'm going to say no, because that sounds shady. No, thank you. <laughs> so, clubbing. Some of your friends are going to a local nightclub called Arrow. You know what? We haven't been social. Let's go live life. Of wow. Clubbing. I've been humiliated. The bouncer won't let me into the club because I'm ugly. Wow. That actually hurts my heart. But at least I was given a race. And now I'm earning $52,000. Okay, great. Thank you. Let's go back to our plastic surgeon. Let's try to get some liposuction, I guess. We are not going with Bianca again. Let's go with uh, Rodrigo. Ooh, the result was a success. I'm back up to 20%. 
I want to try to find love, you know? So we're going to try to find a date. Uh, so we have Leonardo over here. who uh, He's at the library. Uh, he's 29. He is a insurance agent. He's Okay, so, I mean, that's not bad. So ask him on a date. Oh, yes, we found true love. I am now dating Leonardo. This is perfect. Look at me. I'm not a single Pringle anymore. Uh, oh, but if we're dating, we can't even go to the club. Let's go social media. So let's go ahead and join it. We never joined before. Okay, so we signed up. Now we better learn Photoshop. Yes. Okay, we're going to try and go ahead and do some more plastic surgery. Let's try eyelid surgery because I'm getting old. My eyelids are kind of starting to droop a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, yes. It helped my looks. Perfect. And should we go on a little, like a, like, why don't we go on a date? Should we break up with, um... What's his face? I forgot already. My bad. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna work out at the gym. I think this is good. Go to the gym. We're gonna work out. So I have, ooh, I'm so happy in life right now. I'm starting to get healthy. I'm starting to, I'm not really getting that smart, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's go on vacation. Yes, go on vacation, have some fun. Let's go to Jamaica. And let's go business because we want to treat ourselves. Oh, your boyfriend. He doesn't want to go with me. Fine then. When I get back from my trip, I'm going to break up with him. Mm -hmm. So let's go to our relationship. We're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, break up with him because he didn't want to go on vacation with us. So bye, Felicia. See ya. And look, I'm still happy. So it shows that we don't even need him in our life right now. Now let's go clubbing. Yes. So we didn't get accepted into Arrow, so we're never going back there again. We're going to go to the arrival. Where are my shoes? You went clubbing. Yes. Oh, Ricardo. <gasps> he wants he he wants to you know get with me. But I'm going to say no cuz I'm not into that, Ricardo. If you want a relationship with me, you better ask me out properly, okay? <laughs> So we're gonna go should we have any more we had so much plastic surgery and it's still just let's go get a whole facelift nineteen thousand dollars oh they worked <laughs> and i'm like i'm still at 53 percent smart and 56 percent looks let's go ahead and age up your supervisor victor has taken a liking to you and asked you to go on a driving range with him you are worried that it'll make your co-workers jealous See, I'm worried it's going to make my coworkers jealous, but he's my also my supervisor. So if I say no, will he try to fire me? And I don't want to get fired. This is a good job that I've got going on here. But we are going to politely decline. Mm -hmm. So nothing happened. That was good. You know, he's not like he got upset or anything. But maybe it's time for me to like change my job or something because he made me uncomfortable. You know, so why don't we browse some job listings now that we've got some more experience and see if there's anything else we want to do with our lives dental hygienist i mean yes were we already doing that i think so okay so we're 30 now i fully paid off my student loans for university yes finally i'm 31 i'm getting older and less attractive someone called you someone called wow okay i'm gonna insult her back <gasps> yeah she's dumb oh and she attacked me with a coffee mug? <gasps> okay, first of all, we're gonna fight back, okay? We assault her. I hit her with my elbow. I broke her butt. And I also broke her calves. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? I got convicted of assault and sentenced to two years in prison? Excuse me, but she hit me first, okay? I got witnesses to prove this? Wow, I am a criminal now. And I am locked up for the next two years of my life. But I got $200,000. And my looks have gotten a lot better. I'm not that smart. I'm very unhappy. And I'm not very healthy at all. But anyway, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end Fernando's life right here. So let's go ahead and fast forward it. And just see how our life would have ended. So here we go. After basically suffering from everything under the sun. Uh, turning really ugly again, being really unhappy, getting married, uh, you know, this is my life. Fernanda Mello, age 65. She died in her sleep at the age of 65. Her funeral was attended by no one. <laughs> wow! 
okay. A diligent woman, she studied nursing in college. Fernanda got a job as a dental hygienist and put in 12 years with Black Rock Dental Group. Her friends cannot forget the time she snitched on her own best friend, Camilla. <laughs> wow. So there you have it. My life is over. I was, I left off with 4% happiness, zero health because I'm dead. 52% uh, health and 8% on looks. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see me play Bit Life again. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!